Hello everybody and welcome back to another video on the channel and today I'm going to be teaching you guys a really sick and easy to use drift build for the Benefactor Schwarzer in GTA 5 Online. Now if you do like this kind of stuff right here and you do want to see more, do let me know down below and if you want to learn how to drift this, make sure to watch until the end of the video. So here we have the Benefactor Schwarzer and I'm going to be showing you my personal favorite build in order to get this as easy to drift as possible. So there are a couple things you have to follow but the rest of it is your personal taste and opinion. But two major things I will say straight off the bat, you must not have bulletproof tires and you do not want to equip the turbo. I'll explain those later but the rest of this, personal preference but I'll still go through the build anyway. So first of all you want to have no armor on that at all. You want to have stock brakes because you don't want extra stopping power on them. And all of these cosmetic upgrades like bumpers and color and whatnot, they don't matter. Just put it to whatever you like. Engine, you want that uh, level 4 upgrade. And again, cosmetics don't matter. I'm just going through them in case you want to copy my design. So I'm just going to skip through a little bit of it here. You know, the color and whatnot. Again, all personal preference. It doesn't matter. But I'd recommend the chassis upgrade for those bolt-on arches. They look pretty sick. I personally don't run a spoiler because I'm pretty sure they give you a tiny bit of downforce on it um, which give you a tiny bit of extra grip but you want the second suspension upgrade the max transmission upgrade and no turbo and another thing is that the SUV rims supposedly have the least grip uh, and it's just easier to drift I can't really verify this but it seems to you know seems to be so when I'm testing between uh, different cars and whatnot but I'm not sure if that's just the cars handling but what I've been told is is that SUV rims are the way to go if you want a drift build so I go with the dash VIPs the specific one does not matter um, and then yeah you want to go ahead and have no bulletproof tires and that's pretty much it sort out the rest of the cosmetics and there you go that is pretty much the build now the reason that you don't want bulletproof tires and you don't want a good armor upgrade is because we're going to go ahead and stance the car. So if you haven't, if you aren't familiar with this, I have made a guide on how to do this before, but this is just going to be lowering our car even further than it already is, which is uh, pretty simple to do. You just want to go ahead and get any weapon. I recommend the heavy sniper or combat MG, and you're just going to shoot the bottom half of the rim on each uh, on each wheel until it has dropped the body two times so you see it's dropped once and there we go it's dropped a second time once we empty out the clip so what we are doing here we're just lowering it because when we do this the way that the physics of the cars work in gta is that for whatever reason they have much much less grip when they're lowered like this uh so it's way easier to get the back end to kick out and it's way easier to drift it this is also why you don't want the turbo because you can drift with the turbo on it but the turbo just makes it almost uncontrollable at low speeds it's just it's crazy like this thing's already good enough for drifting you know you don't need it to be any quicker but yeah that's about it and uh let's get into how to drift it that is the main build of the car sorted let's get on to the next section so I'm going to be running through just a selection of different clips of me drifting on one or while I, I give some general pointers and tips on how to drift this uh, well in the background. So one thing that's going to help you massively is double clutching as it's called or uh, clutch kicking in this game. I don't know where the name came from, but essentially this gives you like a couple seconds of a great little acceleration speed boost which is really useful when drifting so if you go through a corner a little bit too slowly or whatever you can just quickly double clutch and your speed you know your revs will pick back up you'll start you know having the rear wheels to spin and you'll go forward it's kind of a weird thing to explain and i have done another video showcasing how to do it if you do want to check it out it works with all rear wheel drive cars so the link will be in the top right in that tip video i think it's like the third point i made or something uh but yeah you want to definitely know how to use that because managing your speed while through corners is vital so uh when you're coming to start drift this car uh, starting to drift this car you might want to find some objects or just you know an open space to try it first so as you can see we're just in the little hangar at the airport and you know the back end's kicking out really nicely from the build as you see here you know 
you just want to go ahead and practice maybe around a few objects or something like at the back of the hangar or in this case I'm doing it with a plane so what I like to do I like to enter the corner you know pretty pretty quickly and I start feathering the gas and maybe a tiny bit of the brake if needed and what you want to do is sort of move your joystick left and right to adjust uh, where the car you know how what the angle of the car needs to be related to that corner or the turn you're trying to do so it's a little odd to explain but essentially you want to make sure that the car's always got the back end kicking out enough that it's drifting but not so far that you're going to end up spinning out or you know not enough that you're just taking the turn normally so that's why you have to sort of adjust the joystick left and right as you're going for it it, it's a little awkward to learn, but once you get the hang of it, it becomes, you know, second nature. It becomes pretty easy to do. So, it's a mixture of clips in here from when I was sort of getting the ropes of this build and then, you know, when I get got pretty good at it. But it is a relatively good build, especially if you're a beginner. You know, as I said, I'm no expert at it, but I can do a couple drifts here and there that make it look pretty clean. So... I reckon this is great for anyone who just wants to start out because obviously this car is well cheap. You can go nick it off the street if you want or if not it's ATK on uh, Southern San Andreas. You know, do the tune up and all that. Cost probably another 100k or something. And then, you know, you can become that guy at car meets who's always drifting everywhere and, you know, be the show off who looks sick, sick wherever he drives, you know. Go on them cruises, start drifting along the canyons and whatnot. It looks awesome. So there's no reason not to try it. I mean, you know, most people in this game have got millions anyway from all the money glitches and or heists or whatnot they've been doing. So, you know, you got a little bit of spare money on hand or, you know, kind of interest you, just go give it a try. You know, can't hurt. I would recommend though, if you are on PC, you do get a controller for this because feathering the gas enough um, in order to get the right power for the corner is pretty important because if you start getting it where you only input a hundred percent of the power all the time like you would if you just press down on a keyboard it's going to be way harder for you it's not impossible but it's much harder so pretty much feathering the gas double clutching you know moving the joystick uh, the steering wheel left and right as much as possible and don't be afraid to put power down in the corners if you need it you know try and just go as wild as possible you know work something out that works for you keep going for it and you can start linking your drifts together and make them look even better and you can even start doing tandems with other drivers who are also drifting with you you know you can go find stuff like that all the time now with all of that out of the way thanks for watching drop a like and subscribe and i'll see you later